This week's episode of Awesome Cast is brought to you by Drobo, the lovely people who will make sure that your data is safe at all times. Go ahead and check it out at awesomecast.com. Click on the Drobo link on the right hand side to learn more. guys, it's the Awesome Cast. Uh, we have so many stories. I don't think we're going to get to them all today. So much awesomeness and some not-so-awesomeness going on this week. I'm Mike Sorg, right here at Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. A few new faces behind me. We'll get to them in a sec, but on the couch, as usual. Hey, look, I got a new camera, and so is Chachi. He's over there. Hey, guys. Chachi of ChachiSays.net. <laughs> I just sent Rob a DM. Yes. It says, so let me get this straight. Our guest in Florida can connect, but you can't? Yeah, yeah. That's why Rob's not here. He's in Florida and apparently forgot to tell us he was in Florida. Uh, so, so when he was looking for advice on what to do in Orlando, he didn't ask where to find the internet. Yes. But the guys he wow. should have... The guys he should have uh, uh, contacted, of course, are the techno enthusiasts of joining us. Haru, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Happy to be on here. And uh, from, I believe, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you're out in Seattle, Washington. Am, yes. Jordan Parker, also of the techno enthusiasts. How you doing? So um, yeah, I had I had the fortune of uh, being on your show several weeks ago, uh, trying to uh, uh, return the favor and a fortunate night since since somebody's in a in the uh, bad part of Florida. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so t- tell us everybody about uh, the techno enthusiasts and what are you guys doing out there? Well, to uh, take some words away from somebody else, podcasting, podcasting, podcasting. <laughs> we do a lot of that, yeah. So we're, uh, we've are we been going for about two years, do a lot of different, just a bunch of geekery type mm-hmm. of podcasts. So we just have a lot of fun doing it every week. Awesome. Awesome. Geekery. <laughs> well, um, we have a lot of fan mail here this week, Chachi. Do we? We do. Amazingly. Oh, I don't. That's cool. I can't Amazingly. see the fan mail, so... <laughs> You will have to handle. I that. will. I will handle this. I will handle this. Sonic Scrooge, Screwdriver, who's been uh, contributing to uh, the Wrestling Mayhem shows, been joining us every week in the chat room. Got something uh, that we missed last week, but that's my. Oh, fault. we never miss anything. No, we we never <laughs> miss anything, including this guy's email. We um, cover everything. I just got a uh, Generation Four iPod Touch, and since I've never had an app experience be- uh, before, uh, could you share a few any suggestions on good apps to start with? Uh, thanks for the help and have a great show. Sonic Screwdriver 3. None. No, well, not you. You're my Android. <laughs> right. I don't know. You guys, well, well, well Jordan, you're, you're a new iPhoner. Uh, what, what have you, uh, latched onto right off the bat here? Yeah, I just got the 4S on Verizon. Um, so I'm kind of in the mm-hmm. same boat and have the same questions, perhaps. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll, uh, <laughs> I use the normal stuff, really, Google Voice. Um, uh, I got the flashlight app, so that's been entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I've been flashing people all over Seattle, so that's been nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> where you say that. Well, actually, you know what? That's kind of funny because, uh, Panster, a friend of ours on Twitter mm-hmm. and, uh, Chris, my girlfriend work in buildings across from each other. Yeah. They're like, and the- they found out that they were only a couple floors apart and how they found this out was using uh, direct messages on Twitter and a strobe light strobe light app on the iPhone. Oh wow. He he was sending her DMs and like telling her which direction to look and she found them using that app. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah I mean they're strange. not close enough where they can be like looking in each other's windows or anything, but <laughs> that's creepy. Yeah, I know. That'd just be creepy. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're like uh, the 40, in the forties, and yeah, yeah. Uh, no, what's creepy is sitting there playing uh, world's biggest Pac-Man <laughs> as the window cleaner guys on the outside go down your building. <laughs> oh wow! I've had similar issues. Yes. So I mean that that's kind of weird, but <laughs> uh, looking at my phone first, I got to recommend the uh, WMS Gold app. <clears throat> self oh, promotion. Shameless plug. Yeah, I know. Scribble knots. Scribble knots. I've been getting. It was like ninety nine cents over the weekend. I think it's five bucks normally. Uh, it's it's a fun game where you need to find an object, and it was on the DS where you could write the name, but you have to, of course, type it on the iPhone. Which I don't know. I didn't have you write the name because you completely do that with your finger. I don't know. I don't know. But um, <laughs> geez, what else? Uh, Angry Birds. Uh, they got Doom on here. NBA Jam. I've been digging. Uh, Skype. 
Uh, my nephew NBA actually. Jam. What do you mean Skype NBA Jam? They actually put that on there. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh, I, that's I, a I, classic. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I, I've been playing the hell out of it. Uh, now Skype Skype works out pretty good, uh, especially if you have one of those newer ones with the front facing. Of course, I'm still on the 3GS iPhone 4S should be coming this week. Um, but uh, my nephew, uh, a friend of, from school, he was, he's like a, a junior or something in, school, in high school, and uh, uh, a friend's family went over to Italy, and he was Skyping with her the whole time and everything. So, I mean, the, the, the kids love it. So, um, Well, that's all that matters then. And, and I've been playing with the idea of people. Somebody wants to join the, the show on an iPad. So oh. I've been playing with the idea of whether that would be worth it or not. I'm worried it's going to be a little bit like, <laughs> laggy, but... But hey, you know, if that's the best camera you got, it's the best camera you got. That's true. So you got to make it happen. I exactly. agree to that. Let's see. We got Jaws Revenge. Uh, turntable's pretty fun. Turntable's fun on every platform. Oh yeah. I don't care oh, yeah. who you are. Turntable mm -hmm. FM. You guys. You, you want to waste like an hour and a half doing nothing but making fun of people's music? Uh, turntable uh, FM. Justin T. I purposely Just not use that yet. <laughs> it's <a laughs> for that suck. reason. It's horrible. <laughs> For, for that for, reason? Yeah, the time suck problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, see, the thing I like to do is go into completely random rooms and play the complete opposite mm. of what they're playing in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I went into, I, I think it was uh, a Guar room and started playing uh, the Transformers theme, the, the touch. Well, let's get this straight. I'll go into <laughs> any room and play the Transformers, the touch. <laughs> Just because, but yeah, yeah, it's a little different than your reasoning. Um, and uh, I don't know. Other than that, uh, they got some cool Street Fighter games on here. Uh, the SF4 and SF2 collection, and uh, Words of Friends. Be my friend. Play some words. I prefer hanging with friends. Yeah, yeah. Is that your game? Yeah. In person. Sure. <laughs> In person. That would be a good. Oh, one. I was wondering what that was. So. <laughs> In person. How, how's that like? It's. I don't know. It's. That's what we got to get back into, yeah. literally. I mean, these days, that's what we I think, you know, what the technology today has been doing is really keeping people away from it, you know, yeah. physically. You yeah. know, that's yeah. my take on it. But I think we got to start keep doing a little bit more of that, you know, incorporate it in the live aspect of it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, then again, we're the ones that have been playing we've been watching raw together with our friends from like texas and across the state and everything so <laughs> on google hangout we've been playing yeah i was gonna say we could just do google hangout yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it was one time i was on with a friend and i don't have cable and the, the penguins game was on and yeah. he just turned his tv around and to do his google <laughs> around to it was like oh, oh cool, cool. i get to see the game and he says he does this with a friend all the time you know so you know i think it's a little bit of everything but then again you know like us you know our, our crew around here we got together you know physically you know, after meeting each other on Twitter, so yep. I think I think it can go yeah. go, go both ways for both sure. Mm -hmm. there we mm -hmm. go. So, and then there's of course the Justin TV app that Chachi's showing up on the iPad. Yep. <laughs> for, for the video people out there. All right, uh, iTunes Match came out this week. AJ, often contributor, uh, been on the show a few times. Uh, he sends in this email. He says, "I did it. I spent my twenty five dollars on iTunes Match." Like I said I would, then I realized the multitude of problems. <laughs> like playing any song on my iPhone doesn't stream the music on my phone. It plays while downloading, meaning it it takes up space on my phone, which I don't want. I love the new world of streaming all of my music. I don't want locally stored music. I want my music everywhere. I'm, uh, I'm sure that it's uh, got a place in the world for someone, but I'd rather pay for Amazon or Google solution. The main and only benefit of iTunes Match is that it matches your tracks and limits the initial upload. After that, Google and Amazon do it correctly. Uh, neither has an official app, but the third-party G Music app for the iOS works really well. Uh, looks like I need to schedule a reminder to cancel iTunes Match next year. AJ. You know, I was going to jump into this, too, because I got a pretty hefty collection that I ripped from uh, CDs like a long time ago. And I was kind of excited about getting, you know, updating those ones that I know I screwed up because I didn't know how to. I mean, I mean, you know, 12 years ago, ripping CDs was hard, right? Yeah, and, it was know, a process. Took, took forever. If you move the <laughs> mouse, it messed everything up. Uh, so it'd be nice to, you know, kind of get those updated, you know, with, with my extensive collection. So uh, and I was I was sitting there watching a Mac Break Weekly today and, and hearing about the problems they were having with like 8000 songs. I have like 15. Whew. So. I, I don't know if I want to jump into that just yet, you know. Mm. So uh, I don't got, even listen to music that way anymore. I just Pandora everything. Pandora. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I, I I hardly 
touch my music collection with Pandora, yeah. which is sad, which yeah, is really between, sad. Between Pandora and Spotify, mm-hmm. I don't think I've listened to anything like I physically own in at least eight months. Yeah. Plus, it's taking up space, too, like you're... Yeah. Yeah, it's well, really hard drives cost horrible. I've quadrupled in the past couple of weeks. Just as I need to buy some more for these shows. <laughs> 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 Um, let's see what else we, but you guys have been hearing any other horror stories from iTunes match. Are you guys, uh, considering it? No, mm, no, no. <laughs> mm. I, I, I haven't touched my own collection in years. That's right. So yeah. yeah, like I said, Pandora, Spotify, podcasts, I mean, between all those things, I don't have time yes. to listen to my own personal stuff. Yeah, that's it. I matter of fact, I just had downloaded a whole bunch of stuff on, I'm going to scare you guys on this one. Down the DVDs, burned them down the DVDs, some backup. So oh, <laughs> just got all my iTunes, you know, really everything, get, just uh, get it out I, the computer. I, I mean, it's just taking up space. To, I'm not uh, using it, backup. you know. Backblaze, man, backblaze. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like Crash Band a lot. But yeah, Black Place is good too. Yeah, yeah. I, I just as long as they have internet there in Florida, we're not sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You might want to get out of Florida before you do that. Uh, it might be a waste of five bucks a month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Silent Ninja sent us something about PETA. We're not allowed to read on the show. Uh, absolutely, um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Chachi. Moving will, on. Hopefully, on a future edition of Chachi says the vidcast will cover. I'm this. sorry, that would take the it from PG-13 to R in yeah. a heartbeat, and yes. I can't say those words here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Silent Ninja also sends us another article where the DOG apparently wants to make lying on the internet illegal. Let's say oh. G J. I'm sorry, D D O J. I was going to say, did you just spell dog? Yeah, sounds awesome. The D O G is up in the hizzy, laying down some laws. Wants to outlaw lying on the internet. I'm sorry, we listened to a lot of hip hop before the show. Wait. Now, according to this, this is going to kill everyone. Yeah, online. it's like wow. This 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 kills like. Uh, I hope this is a fine because if this is an arrestable offense, <laughs> we're ha- we're going to have to buy back Australia and turn it into a prison I, again. I was going to say the only people <laughs> are going to be in prison are going to be people that lie on the internet and people who smoke weed. Right, <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. They're murderers. The rapists. They're all going to be running the streets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be it's uh, escape from L.A. and New York. <laughs> Shit, escape from MySpace. Um, <laughs> we're all we're all screwed. The CNET reports that the DOJ wants to make it. Jay, I said it this time. Yes. Make it illegal to use a false identity on Facebook or lie about your weight on Max. dot com. <laughs> it's uh, apparently CNET obtained the statement. This is of course according to Gizmodo. Time out. <laughs> Let's move on. This is just dumb. <laughs> Moving yeah. on. Well, this is stupid enough to actually pass. I know. Exactly. You'd be amazed, you'd be amazed what they're passing. I mean, Seriously? literally. Oh. <laughs> Why do they put their time towards these stupid things? Because uh, that's what the they are. Does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to chime in and send us some emails, some stories we should check out, contact at awesomecast.com or you can call us seven two four two five eight cast seven two four two five two 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 seven eight. Um, we have some fan interaction from Twitter over the We weekend. had a lot of fan interaction over Twitter at AwesomeCast, at, well, you'll see it on the video here. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Of course, Nebraska. Yeah. Nebraska, Nebraska is- happened all over my internet stream, <laughs> my Twitter stream when I was in a meeting the other day. Well, in case you're new turn- tuning in, Nebraska is often a target of our attacks <laughs> because they have one Apple store, two GameStops. And no internet. A bunch Uh, of corn, all right? And a bunch of corn. (laughs) Yes. Well, over the weekend, we we found out that we have yet another female listener to the show, which is amazing in itself. Which is a milestone in itself. (laughs) But uh, Miss Bossy No Pants on Twitter said, Omaha actually is awesome. All caps. I had a great time there. To which uh, AJ was the first to respond. He said that uh, I bet they didn't have internet. If they did, it leaked from Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a it you hold the internet in a glass. Yes. It, it just spilled over. <laughs> and she uh, she did mention that she was really close to the border, so it could have mm. leaked over. Mm. But um, mm-hmm. no, she said that uh, she enjoyed her three day stay in Nebraska. <laughs> it's good. It's yes. good. 
but she that's the threshold though cuz right. I'm wondering if like like 4 days would be the time when you're like oh well, I I'm asked done her with this. I asked I'm her. done with this I asked her later mm-hmm. I said do you think that for no reason at all you could just pack up and move to Nebraska <laughs> She's actually in the chat room Is she <laughs> <laughs> well, Where does she a, live now She I'd lives in, in Pittsburgh I'd be in big oh, trouble okay. if I couldn't have a uh, fake Facebook account. Nebraska again is all caps. I did have a great time there. I did have a great time there. Well, uh, so there you go. But um, with what the I, three people that live there? <laughs> I, I, uh, of course, you're gonna have a good time. There's no one there. No, so I, I flat out. Someone. I flat out asked her. I asked her if she could pack up and move to Nebraska <laughs> with absolutely no reason, mm-hmm. and she did admit that she would need a reason to move there. Mm-hmm. So. Great place to visit. Can't, for three days. Yeah, for three days. Can't live there. <laughs> <coughs> that's, how feel, that's how I feel about New York City. Fantastic place to visit. Not going to live there. Right. That's how I feel about Same. Seattle. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, like I said, since Rob's not here, uh, we're going to talk about video games. Uh, I know I dove into Modern Warfare 3 thanks to AJ really putting it over this past week. I, I and, went out and uh, bought an Xbox 360 <laughs> and Modern Warfare 3. You got you got hard sold on because I, I want to stab people in the face. <laughs> Like that, huh? You heard about all the fun everybody else was yeah, having. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you guys on the uh, Modern Warfare uh, bandwagon? Are you guys game players? I got a little cousin that's really serious about that. I'm really not into that gaming, <laughs> but uh, my little cousin, he's he's up to date with all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's definitely with that. Uh, I have a kid. I just had a kid, so you know how much time <laughs> I have to play with uh, <laughs> Dealing with that. Yeah. Whew. Um, well, anyway, speaking of games, uh, smartphones dominate Sony, Nintendo, and portable gaming revenue, Chachi. Uh, why, why are you, why are you already, <laughs> look, there's pie charts. I gotta agree with that sound, though. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know it. Man. I can't stand smartphone gaming. <laughs> right, exactly. And I'm, and I'm looking forward, sadly, maybe, looking forward to the, to the new, uh, PlayStation Portable unit coming out. Maybe that's a little. We got crickets now, you, or something. For you, that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just, if it wasn't for the hackability of my PSP, I would be anti Sony. Mm-hmm. So I, I really don't care what this next PSP is going to do. <laughs> well, isn't that? I mean, we we see all these features coming on the Nintendo DS, the DSi, the last few years, which are very obviously trying to be the iPhone with with apps with uh with with with, with like mini games I mean ability yeah 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 I mean they want to make it more accessible to that listen if you want to make a smartphone make a smartphone if you want to make a video a, a video game console make a freaking video game console <laughs> You can't have it both ways mm-hmm. yeah. like yeah. I don't care if my DSI uh, has a camera or not mm-hmm a 3D camera. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not buying it to make 3D videos of myself. No, then, no, no. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 that's they're, a good point. <laughs> it really does seem like they're creeping into these uh, these uh, markets, these all you can eat markets like this, just right. because they're feeling the pressure from iPhones. One stop shop. Everybody's taking that motto. That's all. It's you know what they need to do? Oh, they need to take a look at Nokia mm-hmm. and how they failed. Mm. With mm-hmm. combining a game console and a cell phone, oh, sure. the uh, I think everybody the learned, engage. I think everybody yeah. has learned from that exactly. <laughs> so, but um, I mean, yeah, it's well, just, the Xperia Play that was a big winner, right? That's true. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, it stop. Mm-hmm. I, like Nintendo, I'll give you this: the 3D feature of your uh, 3DS is awesome. Mm-hmm. I had a great time playing it. Mm-hmm. The best part, you can shut it off. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. That's the best Agreed. part. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to play it in 3D, you can. Chances are you're not going to want to. Because I can't imagine. Like, I mean, remember when I had my Game Boy back in the day, my old black and white Game Boy, which yeah, probably, wow. probably induced as many headaches as 3D does these days. Right. Um, what's with Nintendo and, and, and having these consoles that are just headache inducing? Like, literally headache inducing. But they're so good, and the only game in town, everybody wants to play them. Um, Mario except, Brothers. Except for Virtual Boy. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I, I can't see that, like, driving in a car doing the 3D, your kids are going to go blind. Um, it, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but, uh, they cause seizures. 
But how much? I mean, how many kids? We know we we know friends with kids that where they have iPod touches. Right. That's mm-hmm. how they're getting their gaming. That's how they, they're getting their Angry Birds and everything else. And this is this is a generation not growing up on on Mario. Sure. And that's got to be most of the sales for something like a Nintendo 3DS these days. It pains my heart. It does pain. Your heart. <laughs> <laughs> And Mario's yeah. classic. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it pains me to know that there's a generation not growing up on Mario. Because I mean, to how not many? grow up on, on how can like, that even be possible? Right. To not grow <laughs> up on. Uh, We've had like thirty years of this. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Uh, but, but how many households are are getting their Xbox 360? <coughs> are you know got their Sony PlayStation One back in the day and didn't even bother with something like an N64 or a GameCube? I feel bad for them. I you feel bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the like, you know, it wasn't everybody has a Nintendo like back in the day. It's sure. very splintered, you and know? that's sad. And as it is, the stuff they grow grow up on, like I don't know, Tomb Raider or something, has been on every console, right? So, I mean, no, uh, it, hey, you know, there's one thing Nintendo has been good for, and that's consistency. Mm-hmm. For the past thirty years, we've been able to see three sets of characters. Okay. As they created new consoles, mm-hmm. these sets of characters moved on. Yeah. Why doesn't this generation realize that? Why do they not realize that they have 30 years of games that they can go back and play? But, but to, I, to I think see where they... these people, to see where these characters have come from. And I, well, I think they do. They, we have the virtual console on b- uh, both the 3DS and the Wii now, so there is that. You really think that they're going to go out and download the original Super Mario <laughs> Brothers? No. On their virtual console? They're probably going to be superficial, look at the graphics, and be like, nah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, really. I think that's what appeals to the younger generation anyway, is the graphics. Because when I check out that Black Ops, I mean, I mean, you just stuff like that. You're like, wow, this it's is ridiculous. amazing. That's that's why you know? I got into Modern Warfare 3, because I, I wasn't really crazy about the Call of Duty games. The blood from... is hitting me in the face. I know, right? <laughs> I, I played a demo of Black Ops a few weeks ago, started seeing all this, like, you know, craziness over Modern Warfare 3. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to step up to this one. You know, <laughs> so I mean, and the th- I played about four levels of the of the campaign and the, the theatrics are just insane. It just feels so yeah. large, like I've never really uh, experienced in a game like this, you know, because um, I was out of games for a while. I was just using my Xbox to play Netflix. So, oh, wow. You know, it's so <laughs> sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Four, uh, four Xbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Netflix and Hulu. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. I, which would have been nice because it completely replaced my cable box. Um, yeah. But aside from that, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, there's a very uphill battle going on for uh, uh, Sony and Nintendo right now. And they got to really pull out all the stops uh, like uh, Nintendo 3DS is apparently on track to uh, equal first year sales for the, the original Nintendo DS, Chachi. About time. Okay. About time. It was that price drop. Yeah. I yes. think especially in a, in a day and age where you could buy uh, a, an iPod Touch with their 99 cent games. Uh, you sure. know, Angry Birds and stuff for two hundred bucks, and you're paying two fifty for a 3ds. You know, yeah, that's I don't... crazy. That's yeah, crazy. There's no Plus thirty bucks a game. Yeah, mm, yeah. I mean, I mean, well, like you guys were talking about with the uh, the Nook and the Kindle this week. I think mm-hmm. about that fifty mm-hmm. bucks makes a difference if you're out there uh, shopping for it. Uh, yep. You know, you're seeing iPod Touch for this. How much is a PSP these days? Is it hovering around two hundred, maybe? It is still that That's much. the going rate, I think, one ninety nine, something like that. So yeah, so then you got the three DS. It's like, oh, it's new, but it's you know, the Nintendo's never done well when they're more expensive than their competitor. They've mm-hmm. always they've always undercut and they have always lost money on their on their consoles. Right. And that's how they've gotten their foot in the door. It's how the Wii did so yeah. much better. So well, so, yeah. you know, exactly how the Wii got out there. But the Wii had that little bit of uh, something different, and uh, they you know they got a lot more. Uh, buzz behind it for the lower power graphics. I laughed at the guy who sold me my Xbox 360 today. Hmm. Was he, he trying to sell you a Wii along with it? No, he was trying to sell me a Kinect. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, a Kinect. Oh, okay. I laughed. And I was like, no, I prefer my video games sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Josh, I'm going to get you to play Just Dance. No, you're not. <laughs> you want to know why? Put on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting it on um, YouTube. <laughs> Treasure Deck pause ca- podcast right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Chachi dances the podcast. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I will destroy you. I'll make a dance star out of you. Yet, you do a uh, Google Hangout with it too. Have everyone around the world dance with them. <laughs> there you go. 
Grandma, <laughs> Grandma's Boy Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, I'm a that's ste- an old reference. <laughs> I'm a Steam player. How about you, Chachi? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Nope. Uh, You're the only one that I'm has to worry one. about your credit card information. Uh, yeah, being I have to stolen. worry about my credit card <laughs> information. Apparently, Steam pulled a uh, a uh, PS a PlayStation Network this week. Another I one got hacked. Oh, uh, or la- well, last week this was, I think. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they got hacked. Uh, they don't. They know a lot of stuff got stolen. They don't know exactly what. This uh, is the third time, correct? If for, I'm correct, this is Steam. the third time. This is the third time for Steam exclusively? Not, st- but uh, related to PS... Was it PS2? Oh, no, no, this isn't related to PSN. It's just okay. a, It's just another... I'm saying it's a, a breach like that one. It's, oh, okay. They didn't go down like they did for a month, but I think people had, had trouble logging in maybe that one night, uh, but that's about it. So, um, so if you're on there like me, uh, keep an eye on your credit card statements for the next couple of weeks. Well, forever. Um, yeah. Watch your credit reports. Yep. Watch your credit reports. Free credit report. We ought to get them on as a sponsor now. Hey, were you on Steam? Uh, well, we know this great site you should probably sign up for right now before you get screwed. Mm-hmm. Uh, they even have some catchy jingles. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Keeps coming up on my Pandora. Um, <laughs> What? So, yeah, you don't get those? No. <laughs> I get all kinds of weird crap on my Pandora. I get the uh, Cranberry Verizon office and yes, get- Walmart, <laughs> but I don't get... I got Toys R Us. A really annoying uh, radio Toys R Us commercial came up on there the other day. It's it's, it's turning in the radio, and man, they're, they, they've about annoyed me into paying them well, 36 bucks. Well, yeah, stop, so. being cheap, <laughs> stop being cheap and pick, go ad free. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, go ad free, dude. Uh, so speaking of T-Mobile, wait, was that on the show or is that before the show? That was before you the guys, show. You guys have had your issues uh, recently with some T-Mobile action. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jada. Yet they got more customers. Of course they did. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I, it boggles my mind. Yeah, so at least just the idiots yeah. that don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, really, who would move to T-Mobile right now? I don't know. Well, uh, I, I I have no idea. Now, what's your no, this has been a different tune for you because you've been all about T-Mobile until well, recently. Well, uh, until recently, they did nothing to screw me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've never had a bad conversation with a mm-hmm. customer service. Mm-hmm. Anytime I called, I got what I wanted. Mm-hmm. My problem was resolved before I hung up the phone. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I never had a problem with it. Yeah, yeah. They didn't screw me on the bill. Yeah. They didn't shut me off when they weren't supposed to. Not yet. Well, no, they did. <laughs> that's that's where my oh, problem. Oh, they shut you off. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I, from- w- I woke up on a Saturday, apparently, um, and I had to find this out through talking to one of their customer service reps. Mm-hmm. Oh, but wow. they changed the billing date. And that's that's mm. from that situation. I didn't yeah. know you got shut off. On yeah. The- um, my bill was apparently past due because they changed the billing date and didn't inform us. Oh wow. And then they just passed. We was talking about it on the show. They just passed something. The FCC passed something far as giving you a notice when you're when you go over your time or right. mm-hmm. yeah. but, um, something similar like that. You turned me down. Did That's I, crazy, sorry. man. Yeah, it, it's completely ridiculous. And I called, and not only <laughs> did they refuse to turn me back on without some form of payment, <laughs> but they were nice enough to charge me twenty dollars <laughs> per handheld. For shutting me off. Holy hell. Yeah, for shooting <laughs> for shutting me off. Oh yeah, what is their fault? Oh, oh my god. Because yeah. it's, it's so hard to push a button to right. shut it off. Right. Right. <laughs> so So are you are you seriously considering moving? Yeah. Yeah? What are you, what are you looking at? <laughs> Probably Sprint. Sprint Sprint sounds good actually. I am Don't angry. come to AT and T, I'm no, telling you. I am the angry. only reason I'm on AT and T because we've been there since like oh six. So we got a little bit of tenure, so I'd be like, you know. Mm. But uh, but I was researching Sprint because I want to, you know just in case something happens I lose my unlimited plan I want to have an alternative to say look I'm leaving. Listen, my whole thing right now that would make that is wanting me to move mm-hmm. or uh, picking the company for me to move is the iPhone mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and a good data plan. Mm-hmm. They got both. Right. Everybody else yeah. sucks. Right. So yeah. I mean. I would never get AT and T with a new data plan. Congratulations, Sprint. When I'm done, <laughs> you win. Here we go. <laughs> now, John. Now, the you, fact you, they have a good commercial, um, booths have a good commercial. They're showing people in in jail 
signing the contract. Have y'all checked? <laughs> yeah, have y'all I, seen I, that? I have what, seen what that. What is this one? Uh, this is Boost Mobile, I yeah. believe. Boost Mobile. Okay. It's actually a pretty powerful little commercial. Yeah, it shows, it's basically um, this lady walking and she's actually about to sign a contract. And um, all these people are in jail, so they put her in a jail cell. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're trapped mm-hmm. for that time period, mm-hmm. two year period. Yeah, That's crazy. Now, now, Jordan, you just made you just moved to uh, Verizon from T-Mobile. Now, what what was your what was the straw that broke your camel's back? <laughs> <laughs> I've been fighting with T-Mobile T-Mobile for two years. Uh, just their service has gone downhill, mm-hmm. uh, including customer service. Like they're rude now; they don't care. They won't fix issues. They actually <laughs> blame it. me. We're being for bought. Problems. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Especially after the AT and T thing, they're especially just don't give a crap. Right. But, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just for about two years. It's just service has gone. You know, drop calls, drop text messaging, calls not going through, data being slow. Oh, and see, I don't have just, those problems. We just uh, go around in circles. I mean, I've look, probably mm-hmm. spent a hundred hours or more talking to them in two years. Oh. And, uh, yeah. So I was going to move to Sprint, but I get a better deal through the company I work for to go to Verizon. That's good. So. That's good. And, uh, Miss Bossy Pants in the chat saying Sprint's good, good around here in Pittsburgh, good customer service too. So, uh, so that's good. Cause that was my consideration is, well, it, my big thing is like, what is the service? Cause we have a few more lines of our, uh, my in laws up in New York. So, and they don't even get ATT right now. So, uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, Let's see what else we got here. Uh, ice cream sandwich unlock feature, fold by a photo. <laughs> Have you read this, guys? <laughs> yeah, you know, this feature is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, well, it takes too long. Have you seen it? Man, I mean, you know, it, if I had your phone and I had you here on Skype, I bet I could unlock your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, to me, that's, yeah, I mean, that's dumb in itself, but it's like, <laughs> You can either unlock with swiping that takes, you know, a half a second right. or you, you you center your face in it and wait for three seconds as it looks at your face. I'm like, who's going to do this? It takes too long. I don't know. And especially if it's fooled by a picture. Yeah. Well, screw <laughs> what that. is it doing? <laughs> what are you doing wrong? That's kind of like when the when the when the Kinect first came out, hmm. the uh, the Kinect has used to have a bug in the parental system like the parental mm-hmm. guidance system where uh, the way the connect is set up and you can turn this feature off but there's a feature on it where it'll detect the size of the people in the room yeah and yeah. if you're playing a violent video game and it detects a small statured person it'll pause <laughs> that game until so that it's so screwed yeah so <laughs> pretty much yeah that that's i mean well, remember the HP camera? I feel like we talked about this on this show. Uh, there was an HP camera that, like, it, like uh, they had a face, like, kind of follow kind of feature on it, like, mm-hmm. on their laptop. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and there was, like, this video in a Best Buy where, like, they had, they had a white person doing it and a black person doing it and just did not yeah. recognize them at all. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I, that. that. I was I like, saw that. Like, uh, what, CES or something like that? Yeah, crazy. I believe so, yeah. I remember seeing the article, too, somewhere or some kind. It was racist. <laughs> the racist station. Exactly. <laughs> well, wouldn't, wouldn't know you if you were a black man or something. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't Some understand. serious issues. Exactly. There. Poor, poor Haru. <laughs> he can't be getting HPs anymore. <laughs> Time to switch the Dell, man. Yeah. And I do have HP. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't let you get into it. <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't see you. So can't get in. Oh, man. Um,. And uh, what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, Logitech. Okay, have you guys? Okay, the Google TV. They had this uh, this uh, update the last couple of weeks. It was supposed to be pretty good, right? And I guess I think yeah. Sony's are the last one making the Google TVs. Uh, well, Log- that's because Sony will back crappy things. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Trying to make it. Sony's like make crap now, and that, that's that's their yeah. motto. They have enough money. Yeah. So they yeah, can sure. just throw money at it and back whatever crap they want to back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Logitech CEO says that Google TV costs us dearly. Now, this is a new CEO than they had before. Mm. Uh, and said so that they, they will not be, they will not be going back to doing Google TV anytime soon. We did not <laughs> discount doing it in the future. And now there's rumors saying they're going to be doing one very soon. Of course uh, they are. So. Sony TV is very good. Or Sony. Co- uh, Logitech. Sony? 
Logitech? This is Logitech. I thought we were talking about Sony. Oh, so Sony, I think, is the last one that's actually making these. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> sorry, I thought I was bashing Sony. I didn't no, realize no, 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 it was no. Logitech. No, 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 no. I know not to get you started on <sighs> that. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to confuse you with a positive, positive anecdote about Sony. Yeah, I'm sorry. So... But um, positive but statements have you guys, and Sony don't belong in the same sentence. <laughs> have you been? Have you guys been uh, following this crazy back and forth with this guy? <sighs> with uh, <laughs> with the Google TV? Uh, yeah, with the C, <laughs> the Logitech CEO. <laughs> Not a whole. It lot. was a very passionate speech about how bad Google TV was for them uh, and how much money they lost. What they're down to a hundred bucks. They're basically losing money just to get it out the door at this point. Sure. So I mean, but anybody looked at that. Uh, Three hundred bucks was was not right for that. That's piece. ridiculous. And the Apple, did it, yeah. Wasn't the Apple TV at a hundred bucks already out? Yeah, so I believe so. Yeah, they, they, that's they another said, thing. It's like they think their product because it might have more features, it's worth two hundred bucks. But mm-hmm. people go in the stores, they're going to see Apple TV. They're going to see yeah. Roku or whatever. People are so Google disconnected TV. from from this stuff when they're mm-hmm. when they're in these businesses. So. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they CEOs, they ain't thinking about, you know, they're thinking about the money, the profits, the bottom line. They're not trying to connect with the people. That's the last resort. And, and part of this, he said, you know, we basically put out beta software on our device, yeah. which is like, hey, it's Google. You didn't see this coming. <laughs> right. You know, the thing I is, mean, like Google TV, <laughs> I don't think is that bad. But the problem no. is like all the channels block you. So you can't go mm-hmm. and get yeah. anything from ABC or CBS or anything like that because it sees you have Google TV. It won't let you do anything. So it's kind of pointless. <laughs> that was the slap in the face. You know, the initial rumors when it was first coming out, that was the idea. Mm-hmm. Correct? Am I wrong or right or wrong? But uh, that was yeah, the yeah. objective of Google. We, well, the people thought. Because the, the, the demos I saw were um, they had... Uh, you be, you're basically watching regular TV. You search for a program. It shows you what channel it's on on your cable. It also shows where you can find it online, like Amazon, Hulu, etc. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically you can still go buy all this programming up on on Amazon, you know, Amazon Video Service. Because I'm pretty sure that's through this box, if I'm not mistaken. You know, like you do with yeah. the Roku, but you just don't get Hulu, <laughs> Hulu in the in the free content. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's not completely useless. It's just a little more expensive to be useful. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So, I mean, it's an interesting alternative. I'd like to see what what 3.0 comes through. They're they're adding apps. I'm wondering what that's going to do. Uh, it looks better. I mean, the interface is quite a bit better. Mm-hmm. Maybe like maybe like on the iPad now that they have like NBC apps and everything on there, you're able to watch a lot of that content. Like mm-hmm. we're not able to watch uh, Community on our Hulu Plus on the iPad and the Xbox, but we can watch Community on the NBC app on the ipad tell me why yeah. that works <laughs> you so, know? yeah <laughs> that's a, and that's our problem right now is that particular issue it's like you have to go different places on different devices for the same thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dumb. it is it's like okay i want to watch this and like i've been uh, hooking up my ipad to watch smackdown uh wb yeah. smackdown because that's like you know the easiest way to put it on my tv and it looks pretty decent versus why can't i do this because i have hulu plus you know, on my Xbox, they, it's already they need to get up. they need to get it that like making it so difficult like this is making people pirate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I may or may not do that if I can't get it easily. You know, it's like well, this is stupid. I have to jump through all these hoops to get something. I'm trying to do it legally, but you're not even making it easy for me. So exactly. what do I do? <laughs> exactly, one I gotta click. go another way because I'm like, I just want to get it. I just want to watch it, man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They need to get that model. I mean, they finally got it with the MP3s. The music industry is easy now. Chat, yeah, yeah. Chat room brings up a very good point. What's that? No one wants to watch Community oh, anyhow. Oh come <laughs> on! <laughs> Community's a good show. Well, you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to go without because I do believe it was canceled. Was it really? Yeah. Was <gasps> it? Because it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't bring in the ratings. That's all. Man. Probably because everyone was pirating because they couldn't get it easily. <laughs> sure, sure. 
I mean, you laugh. That's probably, but that's yeah, you fun. kill it. You kill yeah, it. That's you know what? Like, yeah, um, that's well, uh, Chuck, we've been watching Chuck on uh, on on Hulu as much. Wait, as Chuck we can. is still on. Chuck's still on. Remember wow. the, the Subway campaign? It's not going to be after this season because they took it off Hulu Plus. <laughs> I mean, they took it off Hulu in general. I can't get it on the NBC app. I can't watch this online unless I'm dropping two bucks a piece on Amazon. It's canceled by the end of the season. <laughs> it might have been going anyways, but it's definitely done now. I thought it was already gone. It's it's definitely out now after that. So I'm sorry. Look at you I, I watching crappy TV. What well, is? I find it endearing and entertaining, and plus it has all these great cameos by like you know the 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 the, the lady from Terminator or uh, listen if you want Roger cameos Moore. if you want cameos Scott watch, Bakula come on man if you want cameos watch Psych which I can also can't get on Hulu Plus. Well, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See the problem here? You suck. See the problem here? For Burn Notice. Burn Notice is an iron problem. Anyways, Who watches moving Burn on. Notice? Burn Notice is a good show. That's still on. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, look at you watching crappy television. Oh, there we go. Um, Adobe <laughs> is abandoning the Flash player on... Uh, oh, this is for TVs as well, but they already announced that they're abandoning it for mobile devices. Watch. Watch so, this. Watch wait, this. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's a slow clap for adobe <laughs> thank you for wise because you finally caught on <laughs> yeah, he was... yeah we talked about this on our show this mm-hmm. week. it was like i mean i've had android for two years so i've had flash and i can't remember even one time i've used it right i have <laughs> flash on mine and, and i don't use it and that matter yeah, for the few websites that still use flash they need to get sure. out of the late 90s yeah <laughs> Yeah. I mean, really, it's like you got to be that dumb because you're excluding a bunch of popular products like the iPad if you make your website in Flash. Mm-hmm. So that's your own mm-hmm. mistake. But, but yeah, it's also, about time. The interesting aside from this, uh, Silverlight also may have one more version. <laughs> now, what yeah, are they going to do for Netflix? Though? I know Netflix is the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. So I, I'm sure. So we're going to HTML5 it from yeah. Netflix. I don't know. Maybe something Which would like be that. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be, you know, uh, but listen, I'm only on episode 11 of my new project, so I, they can't cancel Silverlight. What? I, I started a new Twitter project. Okay. I'm going back and watching. I'll get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm going back and I'm watching, uh, all the lost episodes. Okay. And right. I'm pointing out, I've noticed that it's hard to tweet about lost like a single episode and 140 characters okay (laughs) so i'm going through and i'm pointing out the most trivial crap from each episode putting it in a tweet with a episode number and a hashtag jeez when did you start this um (laughs) there's not enough new stuff on on netflix that this is where you got went you've gone to i really wish i had the extra time that you have (laughs) that's amazing (laughs) That is yeah. You're doing this at work, aren't you? Uh-huh. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Um I'm, I'm mid call typing away. <laughs> Watching Lost, helping yep. a customer. Yep, tweeting. pretty much. <laughs> Master of multitasking. Well, no, it, to be fair, I only send out the tweets after I'm off the call. Because I gotta go through and pick out the most trivial stuff. Good one, That's nice good of you. At least you're not wasting that much company yeah. time. <laughs> well, technically, I'm not wasting company time if That's I'm true. working. Maximizing at work. yeah. company combined exactly. with personal time. Right. He's enhancing himself on company time through the efforts of Lost in his Twitter account. Um, so it makes him happier, which means a exactly. happier employee. Right. Happy employees. Indeed. Are, uh, exactly. Productive. Uh, very productive, productive employee. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Look, uh, and as long as they don't see it as well, you're obviously not doing enough. Um, well, no. Yeah. They already think I'm not doing enough because they gave me a whole bunch of more work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to take even longer for me to get through these six seasons. <laughs> How disrespectful of them. Can't they tell that you need to watch Lost? I like, know. Look, I have this Lost issue here. And There's this a lot of seasons and a lot of stuff to Yeah, pay exactly. To. They started piling on servers that I'm supposed to be <laughs> responsible for now. And- <laughs> as long as they don't go down, yeah, this much. project will be good. <laughs> yep. Okay. Just put, put Lost on the server and watch it from there. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. Oh, no. I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm going to put a virtual machine on the server just to hold my lost. (laughs) 
dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> so I'm going to... Oh, man. Let's uh, see. What other stories can get you in trouble? Um, <laughs> so Fox News is using Google Plus Hangouts for GOP candidate interviews. Yay. Um, Go those guys. <laughs> Have you? I mean, this isn't the first thing. Did we, I don't know if we talked about it before. They're using Google Plus uh, Hangouts so you can talk with the Muppets. Yeah, that's yeah, a good, man, it, that's a great exactly. That's a good marketing use of campaign, it. man. But it's like it's ten at a time. So I guess I mean it, I it's I awesome. It's I mean, especially with the Muppets. I mean, we grew up. Well, I grew up with the Muppets. Yeah, and and it's kind of interesting how they reinventing them again, kind of bringing it back out. But check this out. On that note, I gotta. Let me scoot out of here for a minute, but I can chime back in if that's cool. All right, no problem. Okay, then. I'll see you in a minute. No problem. Chachi, what are you saying? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, everyone wants to talk to Muppets. Yeah. No one wants to talk to politicians. No yeah. one. Yeah. No one. You don't even want to talk to Rick Perry after recently? No. Come on. That'd be No fun. one. That'd be fun. No, he'll it's just like make... they're gonna answer you straight up. Anyway. Exactly. Ask him, ask him to make a list of three things. At least the Muppets will tell me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be a, they'll be real with and, you. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but have you I guys mean, use Google Plus Hangouts yet for uh, we stuff? we use Hangle, uh We've been using it with the wrestling show a bit more. Uh, like every Monday, we do a hangout while Raw's on. Uh, you know, and it's, it's been, it's been pretty fun so far. Um, and other than that, we use, we, we like kind of just create a thread for the pay-per-view since we figure people are either at a, at a bar watching it or bought the pay-per-view for the most part. We presume, we presume, presume. um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been really interesting kind of expanding our conversation that we bring up on the show and give us more, to- more stuff to talk about there. So um, now with the the business pages they've released, we're kind of figuring out what to do with it and moving that over since I mistakenly made accounts for a lot of my shows already. Yeah. So, and those have been a lot. There's been a lot of complaints about those. I blame it on being a 1.0 project product, but some people are saying, "Hey, it took this long. Why is it this bad?" Because I don't know if you guys have made your page for uh, for uh, your podcast yet, but it's a uh, I can't give Chachi access to help with posting stuff on there. Unless Not I really. gave him my Google account Not, that I used to make it. Well, I already have that. Well, yes. Well, <laughs> they need to open up the API too, so you can like, because we use like Hootsuite. Same like here. Post, uh, yeah. you know, a bunch of places at once. So it's like they're not going to open up the API, so we can use that. Probably not going to use it yet. Mm-hmm. Right. Much. Right in this day and age, if you don't open the API, no one's going to use it. But I understand we're not going. I mean, they're not doing it yet because this is them really kind of being cautious, like uncharacteristic, unchar- uncharacteristically cautious for Google. I think, um, which people are just not used to that. Yeah. So well, um, you know, we just we just want it now. That's how we. Well, are. everybody does. Everybody <laughs> does. I mean, look how everybody was up in a roar over uh, over the iPhone taking so freaking long. You know. So, um, but I, I don't know. I think, I think business spaces, uh, business places, business pages, is it just Google plus pages? Is that all they're doing with it? Like that doesn't even sound right. And, and they bug me to create a page every time I, go, I log into my regular account. So far, um, in the really. chat room, mm-hmm. um, Muppets are definitely better than politicians. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, we could put the Muppets in in the, in the government. We'd be better off. Right. That's what they're getting at. Way better off. Um, they're okay. saying Animal as VP or Secretary of Defense. Um, yes. Sam the Eagle, Press Secretary. Gary Gnu as Press Secretary. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, I, I turned you down there since you stepped away. Okay. What was that? I said Miss Piggy make a great president. <laughs> <laughs> She's your favorite, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like them plump ones, huh, Haru? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, we, Why not? This, this is our page. There's not really much to it. It's just me posting. Hey, it looks but, like uh, a Google Plus it, page. It looks like a Google Plus page, but just with me <laughs> on here. And it's hard to get people on it so far, because I, I can only promote it through my page. Sure. So... <laughs> So there's not really <laughs> much going on there just yet. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, it's only a weekend, and this is kind of a new concept for people to get around. 
And and your your only way to explain people will say, hey, it's like uh, Facebook pages, which is probably a problem. So, <laughs> why should I use this too? Exactly, exactly. And plus, we were I was trying to do a hangout from the Wrestling Mayhem Show Plus page. Oh, just having yeah. all kinds of problems with it. It kept uh, logging See, that would be the out. advantage of pages if they could sure. get that working properly. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying to look at it. Maybe we can use it. We do a cooking show for my wife's cafe. And uh, I've been looking at ways maybe that's something we can integrate. Because uh, I, I created a page for her cafe as well. Um, or even for a, a, another client where we're starting to do some uh, more more kind of mindful uh, activities and everything uh, mm. to bring it in there because they're already using Skype for uh, psychiatry practices. This could be another option for that. For oh, them, yeah. Big you time. Know. I mean, they do a uh, something called DBT group. Uh, and uh, wouldn't it be great for them to do a DBT group amongst a hangout? Yeah. You know, Sound yeah. logic to me. So, um, so I mean, that's interesting new ways. You know, hopefully this this turns out, good, you know, pretty, hopefully, hopefully 2.0, 1.5 or beta three of this product <laughs> known Google will turn out pretty good. But for right now, I mean, it's just like when we started uh, uh, Google Plus in general, it's very vanilla and there's not much going on yet. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, I mean, are you, are you is anybody else? I know, Chachi, you, you're not using this too much. Uh, I don't see too many people that aren't telling me how to use Google Plus on Google Plus these no. days. It's, it's very, it's very, uh, uh, you know. There's bit. things that I uh, don't listen to. Okay. Um, people who tell me how to use Google Plus on Google Plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, people who tell me how to use Facebook on Facebook. <laughs> And people who send me tweets telling me that I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are things that I don't listen to. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, this is a... Uh, oh, wait, no, I was, I was excited because I saw Hootsuite on this Google Plus posting on here. Like, buy Google Plus. Right. Now, that's fine if I get it from Google Plus, who's under what's hot all the time, by the way. But I saw Hootsuite, but I think they're talking about... Wait, no, no help manage your Google Plus page. It looks like they might be... Uh, uh, getting Hootsuite on Google Plus here. Maybe this is mm-hmm. this is a new thing, so we'll have to nice. check that out as well. So yeah, I'm a Hootsuite user too, and I've been kind of like, okay, I got to remember do it over here now. Um, yeah, it's a so, pain. <laughs> so I don't even. And do I it. actually even got my wife to start using it for her business, so she can schedule tweets and everything for her specials. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. you don't want your lunch schedule at 7:30 in the morning. Nobody's going to care that. You know, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it makes sense. Put it at 11:30 when people are getting hungry, sitting there at work. They see the tweet for something with bacon uh but you know um so uh th- hey that's the news we got for this week guys uh was there anything else in the news you guys wanted to bring up before we head out of here that's been uh catching your ear i haven't even it's seen a lot that yeah it's a lot out there <laughs> that's catching your ear <laughs> excellent excellent uh so guys hey you know let's know uh what, tell us uh what's going on with the show uh and, and where they can check you out Haru, you want to take that uh-huh. Yeah, I'll take that. Well, we're just uh, pushing forward. Um, definitely, you can get us at technothusiast.com, um, and we at Twitter. We even got a, a diaspora. I don't know if oh, that's wow. something y'all <laughs> was actually wow. getting into. You. But <laughs> we're going all out. We're going yeah, we just uh, kind of started that, too. Diaspora. Just got a little yeah. invite on that recently, I the feel last, like, what, I feel two like weeks a, ago? I feel like a noob pushing the Google Plus now. I know, I know. <laughs> Right. Well, one of the uh, like Google Plus is so last month, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of the creators of uh, Diaspora died this week. I heard about that. What? I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's and crazy. That's really crazy. And we actually had somebody on a, a freelance for real that was involved in that project. Like at least you know, I, I don't know how deep involved if he like knew those people or anything. Sure. But I think sure. he, was, he was a part of that project as well. So, but. But yeah, um, we just um, we just moving forward, getting some things going, kind of incorporating some new ideas. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've been doing a lot of more interviews with others like yourself and um, getting out there, doing some more networking, more networking, more networking, mm-hmm. getting more involved in the community based ways. That's basically what Techno Enthusiast is about, really educating people or informing people about um, technology, how to use it in your life and what we're going through as, you know, sentient beings are, you know, dealing with technology and how we use it in our lives as well. So you can find us at technothusiast.com. Twitters, the Skypes, the what else? Google Pluses. I mean, we got everything. <laughs> the <laughs> diasporas. The yeah, diasporas. everything you can think Smoke about as far as communicating. Smoke if you want to hit us individually, <laughs> Techno Enthusiast Show. 
at the technothusiast.com. <laughs> so put in the technothusiast logo on the sky. We'll we'll be there. <laughs> Hey, the local PBS just did that recently, so. <laughs> and I think they misspelled it, too. They did. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excellent. Chachi, you're doing Chachi things at ChachiSays.net. Yes. You're going to have a very special episode of the vidcast this week, I understand. Yes. Where uh, you pack up some stuff. Yes. I, I pack a box. You pack a box yep. of Cleveland colored uh, materials yes. uh, because you've tapped out for the season. Right, pretty much. <laughs> so, there's always hockey. And yep. a new episode of Unsung Woo, hockey. coming up Monday. Monday. Cool. Monday. Oh, man. That means I have to work this week. That means you got to work this week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so actually it's going to be a fun one because we talked to uh we talked to some people about the local initiatives uh going around town for we did we we, we did you oh. you will tomorrow uh, we did already <laughs> gotcha um you need to work on this time thing <laughs> uh just, well you're saying you're saying it. we but in Melissa reality and i did but <laughs> it's not me no it's not you you're just, I just, you're I just, just assume you're automatically talking about no, me. No, no, no. You will, yes. by the people time people have watched this tomorrow, have talked to them tomorrow night. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, go check that out on Sung15. It will be up Monday. Pittsburgh on video. On Pittsburgh dot org. On, Pittsburgh on video. Dot org. Uh, and uh, you know, I think that'll be one uh, uh, tech people won't be interested in checking out what's going on. Uh, this guy, this one guy used to work at Apple, and now he's teaching uh, you know older folks how to use a computer. I think it's pretty pretty uh oh, yeah, pretty cool so uh well that's it hey it's the awesome cast uh i'm of course uh, at sorgatron.com for my blogs and everything else we do around here is i realize i'm still the human gray card according to my title um <laughs> we're at sorgatronmedia.com for all the shows we have going on here uh you can find this show past shows of this awesomecast.com please leave your comments and everything on this on itunes on blip tv uh we're also on youtube uh and drop your emails and comments questions suggestions story ideas contact at awesomecast.com 724-25-A cast uh 724-252 Two two seven eight. I want to thank guys from Techno Enthusiasts for coming on, Chachi for, for just being around as usual, Found and it. for the chat room for being awesome as they always are. Especially you, Miss Bossy Pants, and the second strong screwdriver. Uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Unless you live in Nebraska.